Hello, Heather Dewey Pettit here. Um, yes, I can see my name. Uh, anyway, um, and let's see, I am a writer, editor, and artist specializing in um, speculative fiction, uh, fantasy, and science fiction. And, um, and today I wanted to talk about um, the use of the hero's journey in writing fiction. Uh, this is sort of an introductory um, video on the subject, um, and I wanted to um, uh, make a quick video about it before I uh, go do what I have to do, um, real quick. Um, so, let me just get this a little closer, um, and so, uh, to begin with, um, um, talking about um, the hero's journey, um, so to begin with, um, I've had an interest in mythology from, from a young age, um, <clears throat> uh, and like many people of my age, I'm, I'm a Gen Xer, hello, <laughs> I'm, I'm 48 years old. Um, and I grew up watching the, the movie Clash of the Titans back in the 80s on HBO, like a lot of other uh, people my age. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, and I uh, read the Chronicles of Narnia series and, and, and uh, novels, and uh, they were pretty heavily influenced by... Um, Greek mythology, among other things, um, um, obviously, um, C.S. Lewis and Tolkien were, were friends, and they, they shared a lot of interests, and so, uh, I was also influenced by other things, but, excuse me, I'm messing with my hair. Um, anyway, um, so, <clears throat> I ended up, uh, doing, uh, um, some research papers on, um, Greek goddesses, uh, back in the day, um, as a lot of people did in, uh, in high school especially. Um, and so anyway, and so around that time I even bought, uh, I, I even bought my own copy of Edith Hamilton's, um, book, Mythology, um, at that time, and, uh, and I still own it. More than 30 years later, I still own the same copy of Edith Hamilton's Mythology. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, uh, just, I, for the memories, excuse me, um, just for the memories associated with it, you know, um, but anyway, um, so, you know, I, um, I guess it stands to reason that I would continue to, that I would continue to be, um, interested in mythology, um, you know, even as I got older, um, kind of got away from, 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 reading this sort of thing, and even from, you know, reading a lot of, um, um, you know, speculative fiction and stuff, for, for, you know, a good little while, when I was in my, uh, early to mid-twenties, um, you know, I just wasn't, um, just wasn't reading this sort of thing, and then Harry Potter happened, <laughs> I guess, and it just kind of, um, reawakened that in me, and I, it, um, helped me to remember, wow, I love this kind of stuff, so anyway, um, and, but anyway, um, so, um, yeah, so I'm very fascinated with it, and so I'd like to talk about mythology real quick here, um, and, uh, and something called the hero's journey, um, which happens to be just a great tool for writers. Um, I'm looking at my notes, sorry, um, well, my blog post, but, uh, and so, and actually, uh, this is a subject that I will be discussing, um, when I'm on, um, a particular panel that I'll, I will be on, I'm going to be at Necronomicon Tampa, um, next weekend, and, um, I am going to be on my first, my first panels, uh, ever. Uh, and, yeah, <laughs> uh, 
it, it's it's uh, it should be interesting <laughs> and I'm still messing with my hair sorry I, it's just a bad habit and I'm using the selfie mode so so I know that my face is in frame but whatever um, <clears throat> so anyway um, so anyway so I'm going to be on these panels and one of which is going to be about uh, writing with the <coughs> excuse me writing with the hero's journey um, you know, one second, getting my coffee. I first heard about the hero's journey, um, when I was taking a college English course, um, you know, quite a while back, and, um, and, and I found it very I found it very interesting how uh, about all of that, about how how all of the how uh, the all of so many of the myths of uh, the classical world um, tend to coincide. Um, so um, so talk about the hero's journey. Um, Hero's Journey was first outlined by Joseph Campbell, sorry, in 1945, um, in his book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. Um, so it, it's, so it's, it's a structure, and it's called The Structure of the Hero Monomyth, um, by Joseph Campbell. And so the Hero's Journey details all the stages of the classic stories of the world. And he, Campbell showed in his book how all the stories of myth, like I said, they coincide with one another, um, and how, and also how the telling of the ancient stories of the world um, help us to discover ourselves. Uh, if we read them and keep them in mind, and and you know, um, it's interesting. Um, I think, and so. Anyway, so th th these coincidences are quite remarkable, I think. Um, I mean, if you, if you, um, you know, if you, if you, there's many examples of the hero's journey um, on the internet these days. Um, but if you look at the, you know, if you look, take a look at them, it's it, basically there's. Uh, a lot of uh, people have taken a, um, and drawn it up graphically. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. So there you go. Um, uh, the hero's journey begins with the call to adventure. Then you have supernatural aid. You cross the first threshold, then you've got some challenges going on, and then a revelation when they go into the abyss of uh, death and rebirth. Um, basically, in a lot of the stories, the hero goes um, to the underworld, and they have some sort of transformation going on, whether physically or emotionally. Um, then we've got atonement, and then return to the uh, the known world and it basically just goes in a circle um, because of here we go turning back around um, because you know uh, these these stories are just repeated um, throughout time um, and um, and if, if you think about uh, all the all the, especially the Greek stories the Greek stories you read in high school and middle school um, you know, the story of Jason and the Argonauts, and Theseus, and Perseus, and Hercules, and even Persephone, um, and all the rest, you know, uh, they, they all follow the same pattern, don't they? Um, um, you know, and Campbell even compares these stories to some other, other religions, but uh, I'm not going to go into all that, so, um, yeah, I'm just not going to go into it. Um, but anyway, in regards to storytelling, um, um, there have been books written about how to use, how to use the structure to help you map out your story. 
Um, one such book is called The Writer's Journey, Mythic Structure for Writers by Christopher Vogler. And I did read that book um, several years ago um, when I was um, first doing research for my novel. Um, I am writing a novel, for those of you who don't know. Um, and um, so, you know, it, it, it's a commonly recommended book. <laughs> Excuse me. And I do recommend it uh, for people who need um, some help with uh, uh, stru structuring their stories. Um, he's the, the author of that book. He's a screenwriter and he works in, he works for, um, he works in Hollywood. He's a Hollywood uh, CEO, apparently. But anyway, um, 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 now there, there's some other books that tackle the subject too, but they kind of take it in another direction. Uh, say, there's a book called Tarot for Writers um, by Corinne Kenner. Um, and now, uh, this was the first book about writing in. Where is it? Because I have a copy. Oh, I see it. I'm going to do this. <laughs> um, this was the first book I read about writing that included um, that included tarot. Um, and here it is right here. Um, that included tarot. Um, um, they meant to, well, you know, just they, that you could okay, <laughs> so that you could use tarot um, to help you structure um, writing, you know, fiction and nonfiction, and, 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 can, and that the tarot can help you with uh, a variety, really, of, of writing tasks, um, um, you know, really including um, working on characters and, and things like that, and just... Um, fleshing out ideas and things like that so um, it's a very, really interesting book. Um, I was always kind of curious about tarot because uh, I didn't really know what it was at first you know um, but yeah um, now I'm finding it really, really fascinating and I even have a, a tarot deck. Actually I have two tarot decks sorry but anyway um, you know, it's just kind of interesting to play with um, anyway, um, so uh, so in this book, um, Tara for Writers, um, the author um, compares the hero's journey to the fool's journey, uh, which um, those of you who do use tarot have probably already heard of. Um, uh, in fact, it, she says that um, that these two paths parallel each other almost completely. And I'm, I'm sort of, um, yes, I'm kind of quoting there, but I'm quoting there, excuse me. Um, but anyway, uh, in, in here are um, pictures, lots of pictures of tarot cards, and, uh, and she shows you how to lay them out to represent the hero's journey, or Phil's journey, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, <clears throat> And um, and she has lots of information in here about the cards and uh, if you if you're especially if you're new to tarot, um, which I really didn't know um, much about it at all when I got it. So um, I think it's pretty interesting. And you know, really, um, tarot decks apparently uh, are can be quite different from each other and have different artwork on them. Um, but um, and. Um, Lots of people use them, apparently, and people have been using them for quite some time. Um, um, let's see. Um, but, but, you know, um, uh, lots of books, I mean, lots of books, excuse me, lots of uh, authors, famous authors, have used uh, tarot uh, to write their books, um, including Stephen King, John Steinbeck, um, I can't even think of others right now, but um, many, many authors have used tarot over the years to, to help them with their creativity and, um, and such. Um, and so, um, 
Uh, yeah, so many people say that using tarot cards help them tap into their creativity and really connect with the character archetypes uh, uh, that the cards um, can represent for them. Um, and basically, literary archetype, a literary archetype is a sort of a sort of st st ah, I can say it, stereotypical um, a thing like an action or a situation or a character that could represent universal patterns of, I'm looking at my notes, sorry, uh, like universal patterns of human nature. Um, so that's what a, a literary archetype is. Um, but um, anyway, there's another book um, that uses Tarot with the Hero's Journey um, specifically for writing. Um, is called Mapping the Hero's Journey with Tarot, uh, 33 Days to Finish Your Book. And this is by Arwen Lynch. Uh, and now in this book, um, she's a longtime professional tarot uh, reader. She's also an author. Uh, though, and uh, she has um, even uh, laid out her book in the order of the hero's journey using the main 12 stages of the hero's journey, um, including, oh yeah, and she's also used the three-act structure as well. And for Act 1, we've got the ordinary world, the call to adventure, the refusal, the mentor, and cross crossing the threshold. Um, and then Act 2 is Tests, enemies, and allies, approaching the inmost cave, the ordeal, and the reward. And then for Act 3 is the road back, resurrection, and return with the elixir. So those are the basic 12 st uh, stages of the hero's journey. Um, but, um, you know, I... Now that book, though, I, I, have, I have yet to read, uh, so this is, you know, I'm definitely not, uh, you know as I have not read it yet, um, uh, you know, uh, um, it's not, you know, I'm not really reviewing that book. I'm, uh, this is almost a review of the other ones, but, um, I've read the other ones. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I might, uh, I might, um, might do some reviews on this, on my channel, on this channel this channel because I have another one um, but anyway um, there's a lot of um, similarities actually between the three act structure and uh, the hero's journey and they, they align very well together by the way um, so yeah and so you know these tools um, that I've been talking about have been, have been used for quite some time and you know it, it, you know like I said before lots of famous people have used them it's pretty well known uh, that George Lucas uh, used the hero's journey for writing, you know, the entire the entire Star Wars Star Wars saga, especially the first the first three, the original three, um, um, and you know, um, and so you know, uh, lots of people have used it, like uh, J.K. Rowling and C.S. Lewis, and you know, just um, many people have used this this. Uh, story structure. Story structure. Um, so anyway, it's really been helpful for me to use to use the hero's journey and even t tarot cards to uh, because um, you know because it's such a vis they are such visual tools. Um, it's they've really helped me a lot um, in terms of um, in terms of. Uh, yeah, in terms of just using uh, these plot, uh, you know, <sighs> sorry, um, you know, for using these things, using these things have just, they've just really helped me to get, um, to get, find some order out of the chaos that was me trying to write this novel. Um, so, but anyway, um, and it's really, it's really helped my creativity a lot, actually, to be honest, to be really transparent and clear and honest, um, but, so, but anyway, um, I might do a more in-depth, um, 
I guess, deconstruction of the, of, of at least the, at least the 12 main um, stages of the hero's journey. I might do that and put that on, on this channel, um, and as well as my blog. Um, <clears throat> and if so, if you'd like to see that, please comment below. And, uh, you know, I, I really love seeing comments. It really makes my day and, um, and uh, gets me excited. And, and I hope to uh, help people become better writers and help myself as well in the process um, because, um, you know, it helps. If I'm learning, that's good. That's great. I love, I love learning. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, if, uh, if so, please, please click like and subscribe if you would. Um, and, um, you know, I can also be found on Facebook and Google Plus and uh, WordPress. Um, my blog is there. Um, I'm slowly working that into a website. And uh, so please check, check me out. <laughs> and um, thank you very much for your time. And... Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye.